diagnosed with diabetes in Britain is growing so fast, the leading charity in the field has warned it could bankrupt the NHS. There's been a 60% rise in cases in the last decade. That's 1.2 million extra patients for the health service to treat. Yet, as Rebecca Barry reports, the majority of those cases are entirely preventable. It's a devastating condition with life-threatening complications. But as cases of diabetes soar, it's claimed the burgeoning cost is threatening to bring down the NHS. Kishore is 51 and, like the vast majority of new cases, has type 2 diabetes linked to lifestyle. Exercise is one of the, the, the big things that I've had to factor in, making sure that um, I'm aware of what I'm eating now fruit and vegetables, fresh vegetables where, where possible. Janet has unavoidable type 1 diabetes and is one of the many patients who's had to have a limb amputated. Well, I believe that my amputation could most certainly have been avoided if the care had been coordinated um, and my nerve damage on my right leg had actually been um, identified and flagged up on time then I would not, at this present moment, have had to have had my leg amputated. Raga is 45. She was told type 2 diabetes would eventually kill her unless she lost weight and began exercising. I was given two years from, uh, by my doctor and he said that if I continued with what I was doing at that time, with my poor lifestyle, that was it. I wasn't going to uh, be there for my 45th birthday. I ran my first half, uh, you know, Brighton Half Marathon on my 45th birthday, and I'm here I am. More than 3.3 million people in the UK have now been diagnosed with diabetes. That's gone up nearly 60%, an extra 1.2 million people in the last 10 years. Around 90% of cases are type 2, which is linked to diet and obesity. If something isn't done about improving care for people who've already got all kinds of diabetes, then it absolutely threatens to bankrupt the NHS because the cost of diabetes is about £10 billion a year. That's 10% of the whole NHS budget. Here in the borough of Brent in northwest London, they have one of the highest rates of diabetes in the UK. Doctors in this surgery are diagnosing two or three new cases every single week. But the NHS insists that prevention is better than treatment. But campaigners insist unless treatment improves, the cost to the NHS and people's health will be unsustainable. Rebecca Barry, ITV News.